So what's coming to Todoist this year and onwards? Let's dive into what's coming new and um, give you an idea of what Todoist have been working on. So Todoist, it's been growing in popularity and the general experience of it has been centered around um, improving your tasks, but they're expecting a very uh, improved year with more upgrades and new features coming. And today I'm gonna to dive into three of them that I guess are gonna change the landscape for Todoist. Now, the first of those is task duration. And you're probably wondering, Francesco, this is too small to be able to enhance, but it will make sense a little bit later in this video. But they've got their experimental task duration that is now out in public access. And task duration is very simple. In Todoist, you have just a general due date of when a task is to be done, but you can now add duration now, which will give it a generalized time and amount of time as well. This is great for connecting it with two-way sync with Google Calendar, for example, uh, if you want to do that. Great for time blocking in general, and in general improving the task abilities as well. Just being able to know how long a task is will be very, very helpful. And to do this, been doing a lot of these little experiments with, for example, the filter AI function as well, but task duration is now out in the wild. Now, moving on from that, Workspaces is probably going to be their biggest release of maybe this year. They're saying this year, <laughs> but I believe they're gonna have an update in October. We actually did an interview with them if you wanna find it on Toolfinder that digs a lot deeper into the conversations that we had about newer features. But I believe it's actually available for pretty much anyone who signs a new account, but don't do that because I'll just stress them out. Um, what you want is to wait for it, it's probably only a month or two away, but the application will be enhanced because you can now view your business or work stuff and your personal stuff in one location. Instead of having to toggle between multiple accounts, Workspaces looks like it's gonna help you to have that all in one. And that's perfect for managing filters, managing labels, managing your today list and being able to switch over when you need to, which is something that I've always struggled with my Todoist account. I have my personal stuff and my work stuff. And sometimes when I'm in work mode, I get really stressed because I'm like, I can see like three or four tasks for personal and I'm like, I know I need to do them later, <laughs> but I like to keep focused for work. So Workspaces will upgrade that. And there's a little bit of information on this page that will be linked below about that and how it's currently operating. The final feature that brings in task duration is calendar. They are working on a calendar mode. When I first heard this, I was like, bam, that's such a good idea. <laughs> it obviously apps like TickTick have had this for some time, but calendar mode in Todoist just makes total sense. And what they're doing is working on a native version of that. Now, just to state, because I'll get told off for this, just in general, because I don't want to put out false information. <laughs> they have no firm ETA on calendar release, but they state in our interview that we did with them, that I will say that we are always already doing some preliminary internal testing. I don't know what that means. It could mean that a couple of people in their internal team have it, or they've rolled it out internally to use it to test it. But I just don't know. Anyway, I'm pretty certain that the way that they were talking in this interview that to do this is next year is going to be pretty big so next year probably i'm going to say 2024 in general for calendar again probably going to get told off for that so that's going to be a really interesting update to to doist in general having a calendar function is is going to really open up a lot of uh, insight especially in workspaces imagine being able to toggle between a business day and a work a personal day in your calendar and be able to time block with task durations. That's a huge update that I think Todoist can really introduce. Really exciting updates and something that I think you can uh, really gain much more insights if you read our Toolfinder interview, if you did fancy it, with the Todoist team, they will give much more insights than I can in this video. But coming soon to Todoist, all of this stuff. Please do subscribe to keep productive and I'll see you in a future video. Cheerio.